Taurus, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. I'm starting to now do Tiny Turtle Tarot Tuesdays, so expect me on a Tuesday and let's get on with your reading. Uh, as always, if anything I say resonates, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's see what's going on with you for the week ahead. Taurus, whoa, okay. Huge energy, seven of wands. Stand up for yourself, stand your ground. Don't be afraid to look confident and sure of yourself. I don't know if in the past you've been, it's almost like people took you making a stand and standing up for yourself as you being argumentative or you being like the drama. Like, are you the drama? No, you're not the drama. Like people like accused you of being like, a drama queen or a drama king but you weren't you were standing up for yourself with the seven of wands but they like were they were like deflecting onto you like saying like calm down don't be so dramatic and you're like i'm not being dramatic you you started it i don't know it's this is almost like sibling energy this could be like you might be having for the week ahead there might be a little bit of like a tiff with your family or siblings but if it's not that it's just this energy of don't be afraid to stand your ground don't be afraid to stand up for yourself because if you feel cool to say it in the first place, then it was worth saying. And with the hermit underneath, like you might of be, you might of be, you might be coming out of a phase of hermit mode or self isolation or just isolating yourself. And people might have a lot to say when you come out of this. I'm hearing coming out as well. So some of you might be coming out. It's like out of the closet, obviously a small few of you, not all of you, but there's something where, um, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. It's not loud. It's, it's okay to be loud. Like I'm hearing, I'm hearing someone saying, gosh, you're loud. And you're like, huh? And then you, and then you kind of go, okay, you want to hear loud and then you show them loud. And I, I like it. I, the reason I like it is it's like it's a long time coming it's like you've not been sorry I dropped a card it's like you've not been able to release your full your full whatever it is you have trapped inside of you and now it's like okay if you want to hear loud I'll show you loud because that was not loud <laughs> uh six of pentacles coming out like this is fair as well there's a lot of fairness around this and six of pentacles it's not about giving back to the community you might be doing community service you might be helping out for free there's something about a party or something you might be volunteering i don't know what it is but there's something around you doing something for the goodness and you might actually end up loving doing something more than you expected this week if you're doing something especially around money so like it's almost like you you um this is strange maybe through work you hear about like a volunteering thing or something but there's something where you go oh no no, no I don't want to be paid I just came because I love doing it I don't know what this is about I'm getting books come through maybe you're like a librarian or I don't know what it's about but it's like maybe you're doing someone's books like accountant or something but it's like you're doing something just because you like doing it or there's gonna be something and maybe that's different for you. Maybe that's as well what you're standing up for. Maybe you have people around you going, what are you doing? Why are you doing that for free? And you're like, because it's good. Because it's good for me and it's good for them. Hmm, strange energy. We also just had the Nine of Cups pop out. And looks like you have someone that has their eye on you with the Nine of Cups. Let's see more. Three of Pentacles could be someone you work with. That flew all the way across the room. Do I have to get it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm such a drama queen. It wasn't that far, but it was. I swear. Three of swords here. Three of pentacles. There's lots of threes. Justice as well. Like balance. When I was talking about balance a lot, I was like, that's weird. This isn't justice. It's the six of pentacles. And justice showed up. So there is a lot of balance and fairness and equality coming through. Three of pentacles, three of swords. There is a little bit of pain around work. I'm getting something about a boss or there's like maybe a little bit like a tiny bit of workplace bullying. However, however, whatever this is about, and I mean, it makes sense with the seven of wands with you standing up for yourself. Maybe that's at work. There's actually somebody that really admires you and could be like rooting for you behind the scenes that you're not seeing with the Knight of Cups or there's going to be 
like a strange turn of events where it's like, what are you picking on uh, Taurus for with this Knight of Cups? Someone really cares about you. Somebody actually has feelings for you. Like someone's soft. I'm hearing someone's soft for you. And with the Three of Swords, like there's some type of pain, emotional pain, or there's something happening around the workplace or your job or something where someone actually is like, are you all right? That was pretty harsh. You didn't deserve that. I'm just getting that coming through. So whatever this is, somebody is checking up on you. Somebody, the person who it is that's checking up on you has a lot of feelings for you. I don't know if you're single or not. It doesn't really matter if you're not because this person can't help but care for you. And yeah, just, just keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for them this week. What else is going on with Taurus? The Empress. King of Swords, the Nine of Cups. Ooh, hmm. I'm getting like a best friend energy come through. There's someone like, you're just, I don't know why I'm getting Princess Diaries come through. And like, I don't know his name. Damn it. I know it's Mia. Anyways, don't know if you've seen the Princess Diaries, but she has like her best friend Lily's brother <sighs> is like, I don't know, they're just perfect for each other, shall we say. However, however, like she's somehow blind to it and is looking at other guys. Anyways, where I'm going with this is that's the energy I'm getting is her best friend's brother. Maybe this is your best friend's brother or something and it's like out of reach or you can't have them or something or you feel like they, that couldn't happen. Because with the King of Swords though, it's almost like there's going to be some type of communication. I don't think this is this week. I'm saying like a month away with this. This feels like a little bit further away. But there's going to be some type of talk or communication where someone's like, look, I like, I do care for you. And I'm getting like pizza with M&Ms on it from that movie as well. So um, watch The Princess Diaries if you haven't because I, I just want that dynamic to come through for you. <laughs> with the Nine of Cups, like there's a lot of like, this person wants to see you happy. This person just wants you to be as happy as possible. Even if you're not with them, they still want to make sure that you're happy. And with the Empress, like, they have you on a pedestal. They see you as the Empress that you are. And again, that's kind of Princess energy. Like, they, they just see you as, like, the Princess of Genovia. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. What else? What else for Taurus? the star so you might be even in the spotlight because for me to keep bringing up princesses for the empress to come out and now for the stars to come out i'm gonna cover it up because she's naked but um with the empress and the star this person has you on a pedestal but they also see you as somebody that other people have on a pedestal also with the star like you're in the spotlight especially with nine of cups as well like people see you a lot or this is like going to be the energy this week of a lot of people looking at you a lot of people looking up to you and it's almost like this person wants to set a foundation quickly and because they know that there's a lot of people that are looking at you now what else what else is going on with taurus ten of cups i like it because you're on the nine of cups now you're moving into the ten of cups but this person is very very nervous i have to tell you like they don't look nervous Maybe they do. Even if they look nervous, they don't look as nervous as they are. They're really covering, like, their feelings up somehow. But with the hanged man, this is, like, a long time coming. This is something that might have been put on hold a while ago and is only now, like, happening in, like, the coming month. Page of Swords, Four of Wands. Also, Four of Wands came out before and I forgot to tell you. There is, like, this is happy. I'm hearing happy ending, but it's, like... Like the happy ending of a movie obviously not the happy ending of your life it's the happy ending of the movie like you're gonna be with this person and i'm not just saying that that's what the cards are telling me to tell you so page of swords four of wands but it's just a little bit of like nervousness on someone's end that is getting between the ten of cups it's like nice it's almost like they'd rather see you happy and on your own and in their life but not with you, then risk losing you in their life to give you that 10th cup. Like they want you to be as happy as possible without them having to risk putting their heart on the line for giving you that one last cup that you need to have all your happiness. 
if that makes sense. And you don't need anyone to be happy. That's not what I'm saying. You're happy. You don't need anyone. But this person's like the icing on the cake. But they're also nervous because offering you the icing on the cake could go wrong for them and then things might be awkward from then on. But it won't be. But that's their thoughts. Um, what else? Ace of Swords here also, like communication. And what am I trying to... Oh, Queen of Wands. Like, they might communicate how attractive you are. Or, like, even just... I don't think it's... This seems more genuine than that. It's not like, oh, you're hot. It's like, you are magical. Your energy is the most attractive thing I've ever seen. It's like, they're just drawn to you. More than you're hot. Do you know what I mean? Maybe you've had that in the past. And you, you're like, that's... That really puts you off because I don't know why I feel called to keep clarifying that that's not what they're going to say. Or there's just something they want to communicate very clearly of. They're very drawn to you. And you had the Empress already, so that's obvious. But the Queen of Wands coming out now too. Is this like, you might also like play down. Because to go from the Empress to the Queen of Wands, they might notice that you kind of play down your abilities, I'm getting. So, because the Queen of Wands is very talented, very confident very spontaneous very inspiring but you might play down your talents or abilities in some way around other people in order to make them feel more confident confident meant to say com comfortable said confident so maybe you like especially the empress maybe in the past people tried to dim your shine or something because there's something where you just naturally operate in a group setting or around others you operate like a lower frequency to kind of blend in and this person might communicate to you like stop doing that you're my princess of genovia start like showing people like the star that you are you're this empress and you're the star and you're you're only like in a group there's something about you coming forward as a queen of wands and the queen of wands is amazing don't get me wrong but the empress is even better and the star card too so it's like they see you as beautiful and amazing but they're also like you play small around other people. Like, they might say that to you. This person is very observant. Because, like, they might say to you, why are you dimming your sparkle? Even around your family and friends, they're like, why are you doing that? Anyways, that's so specific. What else? Three of Cups, see? Family and friends. Um, Let me get you one more card. Justice. Fair outcome. You got lots of justices. That was on the bottom of the deck earlier, wasn't it? So, fair Fair. Everything's going to happen as it should. Your week ahead, just remember, go with the flow, is what I want to tell you. Because carry on doing what you're doing. You're doing everything right here. Especially with the Ace of Swords, this is winning. You're winning. If you had an argument or if you stand up for yourself, you're in the right. You've won it. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Like, Even if people don't want to admit it or they go quiet, it's like, yeah, mm -hmm. you've won it. You want it and carry on carrying on. Kind of terrible advice. Terrible advice. Maybe I'll get you another card. Carry on carrying on. What is that? Yeah, two swords, high priestess. So I was like, I was like, they might not say it. And when I said that they might not say it, like I thought of the high priestess, because it's like not talking. High priestess here. They know. They know you're right. But you might be overthinking because there was never anything said. Doesn't mean you weren't right. Like, there's a lack of communication. Also, there's something about like, your, your family or your friends really coming through strongly this week. That they don't express how powerful you are. They, like, are, there's a little bit of fear of your strength here. Maybe they're very, like, and this is just obviously a reflection of themselves and their own insecurities. But, like, they see you on a higher pedestal than you realise. You might think that they don't think much of you sometimes, but they do. That's coming through very strongly. And even if they don't say it, like you might be in your head, especially with the Seven of Wands and you standing up for yourself. It's like, was I supposed to do that? Did I, did I go overboard? Was that wrong? Did I bite their head off? You didn't. Like if they went quiet, it's just because they were afraid of your strength. They weren't expecting it. Um, they weren't expecting it from you, which is harsh, but also that's why you needed to do it, or you will need to do it, because this is the week ahead. I'm going to wrap the reading up here, thank you so much for watching, if anything I said resonated, please let me know by liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next Tuesday.